Me and my girlfriend got the house back in October. I liked the way the house was set up. And I liked that it had the basement. I showed her the basement and she was like, I don't like that basement. We moved in and it seemed all right for a while. And then about a week ago, we were in here laying in bed and I felt like something was burning and like my side hurt. My neck and my head started hurting like instantly. So I look and we find scratches in that same night that that happened. I had a dream and in that dream I was in this exact house in that exact bedroom and I was while I was still asleep I woke up in the dream and I looked over towards the doorway and I seen something but I don't I can't recall what I seen I just know it freaked me out and I like kind of like backed up and kind of fell over her towards the bed and as soon as I like did that, something pulled me towards the closet. And as it pulled me towards the closet, I tried to reach out and like grab the bed or something close. And I tried to scream, I couldn't breathe. All I could do was look and I didn't see nothing. All I could see was the foot of the bed and her up there sleeping. And I was trying to get her attention, wake up, hey. I was like sweating, I couldn't breathe. I woke up and I, <gasps> <laughs> like that trying to breathe and as I woke up I was making that same exact noise and it seemed so real that I had to get up and go to the bathroom look at myself in the mirror to make sure that I like hey are you you're awake and it's it freaked me out well just last night or Friday night I was like hey babe are you awake and she's like yeah why I was like I, I can't really move and I feel like something crawled in bed behind me. So will you look behind me and see if you can see something? And she gets up, she looks over and she's like, babe, there's nothing there. I'm like, well, I feel like something just laid, like it's laid its head on my pillow and the rest of his body just lightly floated down the bed. Next thing you know, we hear a loud bang. The mirror had fell. The mirror has deep grooves on the back where it hangs up so it sits down on the nail or whatever it is, kind of deep. And then when it fell, it didn't fall over. It just fell down and stayed there. And then like our basement, we've never been in that basement after the day we signed the lease. He was like, yeah, I used to live in that house. He was like, I lived there in 2012, moved in 2011, we, we left. And he said, we left after my stepdad died in the basement. He said his stepdad didn't like the basement either. And the fact that he went down to the basement, that's where he died, he said, it beats me because he didn't like the basement, so why would he choose to go down there? He also told me that they had paranormal investigators come in here and they discovered there was also a little boy. They come to find out that the little boy was killed in a, or kept trapped in a room down there. I don't know how he was killed, it was starvation or something, they said he was, in that room, that's where he died. Uh, the garage, like, right back behind my house, that's the neighbor's, um, her daughter a few years ago, um, just randomly went out back and hung herself in that garage. And so she, she said she don't even use that garage because she feels something's in there. I swore I felt and heard footsteps. I think I see stuff, I'm not really sure because it's just like a blink of an eye flash by and I look and I get like an uneasy feeling and then it's gone. Um, I've had times where I had my shoulder touched over here on the couch, I jumped up and moved and sat in a different spot and felt so much sadness I started crying. My girlfriend's like, what's wrong? I'm just like, nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm, I feel fine. I just feel a little sad for some reason, but I was crying. I don't just, people don't just cry for no reason. And I was just, I felt sorrow, like sad for somebody. That's how I felt. And the spot where I was sitting is actually right above where the, the little boy died. Before we moved here, we had a, a good relationship. Like we were 
Bonnie and Clyde without the guns and robberies. And we were, you know, always having fun and never was a dull moment. And then moving in this house, we we do nothing but argue. I feel anger a lot. Like I just snap on her for nothing. I don't know if it's my head playing tricks with me and maybe it's me, I don't know. But it's never been like this until we came into this house. We had a fight one night and I threatened to slit her throat. I said, I just wanna slit your throat. Never said that to her before. I've never said that to a past girlfriend before. I've never even said that to an enemy before. I'm just an all around easy going guy. I, a lot of people like me. I, so me wanting to slice her throat is, that's not me. The main thing is the basement. We, we don't go down there. I feel like that's maybe a home to something down there. And maybe just up here is it's a playground. I don't know. Stepdad dying in the basement, you know, the woman killing herself next door. A house uh, right across the street on the corner, a man shot himself in the front room. Sometimes I felt like I'm just, there's no point in even being on this earth. Like, what am I even doing here? And I've, Actually, since I've been in this house, I've cut myself once, and I, I, it's not me. It's not me to talk about killing myself. But yeah, I just I start thinking like, well, why am? What am I even doing here? Why am, am I? Do I deserve to be on this earth, or or should I just make things easier for everybody and leave? And that's not. I don't. I have kids, I have a family, I have a mom, I have a girlfriend, I, you know, I have so many things to be happy about, so why do I want to kill myself? I feel like I want to start going to church, and maybe that might help the thoughts, I don't know. They've just never, never been thoughts before, never wanted to kill myself. Do you think it's this house? That's causing this? I don't know if maybe it's everything of me trying to hide it and not like just hiding it and holding it all in. Maybe it's starting to drive, I feel like maybe it's starting to drive me crazy and that's why I finally reached out. I was just like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. I know what they're capable of, but I never feel like I would have been a victim to something like that. And if I did, I feel like, okay, I've watched these shows, I know how to how to handle it, it just, you know, but it's not something you really can mentally prepare yourself for. But stuff like that can really happen and I know it can happen, so it, it really just, what you know it's capable of doing is really what's the uneasy feeling of it. Decently big in size. Kind of heavy, nice deep grooves. Fell right here off this screw. You know, you can't spin it, twist it, it's right in the stud. So, for anything to, you know, just even hitting it, don't even move it. So, that fell off. Um, this is actually the bedroom that I had the dream in. Laying right here, um, I woke up facing the same way that I woke up in the dream. And that's the closet I slid in. I fell over to jump off the bed. I like fell over right here and I slid back right here. I mean, I seen the clothes and all and she was laying right here in bed and I was trying to reach and scream. I couldn't scream. Same night that I had the scratches, I had the burning in bed and it, that's whenever I felt like maybe I wasn't crazy. Maybe there was something in the house. Maybe let's go ahead and try and reach out to somebody to see if I am crazy. And um, I also felt somebody lay down on the bed with me um, a couple nights ago when my son and girlfriend was in bed. 
I couldn't move. All I could do was ask her to see if something was behind me. I, it just froze. I feel like I've seen stuff like walk by just from here to there. I mean, it's right next to the um, door. And this is the door to the basement. We don't, we don't never open it. It stays locked. Um, down there in the basement, um, there's a room. As soon as you look far off to your right, that's the room that the little boy was supposedly kept in and murdered or starved or however he was killed. And it's, I, I just don't want to go down there. My person lived here for six years before us and then all of a sudden upped and moved. Why somebody, and they left their utilities on, that's how quick they moved out. Um, their utilities were still on when we moved in and we had to transfer them. Why somebody lives somewhere six years and up and moves out, I don't know. I tried finding out who lived here, but I mean, I can't, I don't get no mail. I've tried asking utility companies, you know, what was the name of the person that lived here? Just to ask them, you know, why'd you, why'd you move out? And it was after like certain stuff started happening. Maybe they moved out because they get tired of it or something finally happened and they wanted to leave and not be here no more. Make sure you lock the super channels on. Feel free to move the ball. We'll be back down a little bit. You recording? I'm walking down here. It's in the basement. Who's in the basement? Hello? This sounds like they're moving furniture. Can you say something? Here, but you talk, it goes quiet. What is your name? Oh my God. What is your name? Who's in the basement? That box was misplaced, and this, we'll get back and look at the video and the pictures and see where this thing was. I don't remember this being on the floor. Move your arms in here. It's moving. Did you it, see it? Is it my finger? No. No, it's not doing it. He told me somebody keeps coming up on my back. They're interested in you guys and what you're doing here. Who's in the basement with us right now? Can you give us a sign? My name is Josh. We're just here tonight to talk to you. 
Can you give us a sign if you're down here with us? The man that passed away in the basement, can you hear us? They said that a child was kept in this, let's try not to kick the ball, was kept in this room. If there's any spirits in the basement, we mean you no harm. We want to communicate with you tonight. Can you communicate with us? Are you in this room with us? We got Ro with us here tonight. Can you communicate with Ro? What you hear? Footsteps. Let's move out of this room and put this ball back. Okay, we're going to let this stuff record. We're going to go back upstairs. And let's see when you hit that ball down or move that lower down here. Knock that ball off that shelf. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Knocking. What? That wasn't me. What was I said knocking. Oh, I think said rocking. You can knock. Walking. You're walking. Let's go upstairs and see if we can. I want to try that pair box. Well, we've got a camera on it. If it moves. Because both times something moved when we were upstairs. Make a loud noise in the basement for us. Can you move that ball? Can you come upstairs? We've got an alarm in the basement. We've got an alarm in the basement. We've got an alarm in the basement. Can you set the alarm off? Give us a sign if you're in the basement. What is your name? Let's run that para box for a little bit. 101 para box. We're going to use tonight for the first time in a residential case. If there's any spirits in the house, we've got a device here that will help you communicate with us so we can hear you. We're attempting to communicate with any spirits inside this house. Can you hear us? Yes or no? What is your name? 
Where did you die at? Where are you at right now? Are you the boy that's in the basement? Where are you at? Where did they hide you? Are you up here with us right now? How did the girl in the garage kill herself? You sound like it said hung. You sound like it said hung. Are you causing people to kill themselves? Are you affecting Kevin? Walking around. Around. Do you like Kevin? What did you want Kevin to do? You guys stay up here. Let me go down the basement by myself. Okay, so right now I'm gonna head down to the basement. Rocky and Sean and Ro are gonna stay up here on the main level. We've been hearing like what sounds like a lot of footsteps and banging and stuff coming from the basement. So I'm just gonna sit down there and see if I can experience some things. A sixth grader committed suicide last week. My name is Josh. Can you tell me your name, please? The gentleman who died in this basement. Can you please communicate with me? The child that was inside this room. We know that you've been playing with people's emotions, wanting them to do bad things. You have me here in the basement all by myself. You could do something bad and get away with it. Do you have the energy? I feel like it's getting colder right through here. Are you building up your energy? Footsteps. I mean, it is. You can actually feel the temperature dropping as I speak. A lot of times when it gets real quiet and the temperature drops like this, something big is about ready to happen. What are you going to do? I almost hear crying. I don't know if you guys are listening to the monitor or not. Down there right now, did you hear it? Mm-hmm. I just heard something. Stand there right now, did you hear it? Mm-hmm. I just heard something. Stand there right now, did you hear it? Mm-hmm. I just heard something. Who are you? Tell me your name.
Whoa! Whoa! If it moved that pipe, holy sh So I already do a spirit box session to move the pipe. Did you hear that? Holy f That is so f***ed up. Oh, that's paranormal. Oh my god, I got so cold chills. I do. That is so f***ing scary. That about gave me a heart attack. You better get the fuck out of there. Dude, whatever that was, that was. Sean, you need to go get him. Tell him just get the out of there. That's dangerous to be down there. With yeah, that, that was fing plain as day. He needs to get the out of there. Right? I need a cigarette. It, this, this place just needs blessed. Thank you for moving that. Can you do something else to me, please? You can see you did something big. Nobody came down here. You can do whatever you want. That literally almost gave me a heart attack. I'll be the third death in this basement. I'm gonna run a spirit box session. You can talk to me. Did you die inside this basement? You got cats. What is your name? Where are you at right now inside this house? The basement. Did you just move this pipe? Yes or no? It's a couch. Temperature's dropping again. There's a chance something else is going to happen. I'm following them now, just the last. Please show yourself. I need you to try as hard as you can to physically touch me. Not by it, alarm just went off. Very cold in here. I got shit moving, I got the alarm going off. I got the temperature dropping, something's definitely down here. That's what I'm talking about, if you do stuff like that, that validates that you're down here with me. I'm going to go upstairs and check out this video of that pipe falling. I need to call it Bless It. Oh, yeah, f this place. Oh, oh my god. You, let me replay this. Josh, there was no banging the whole time you was down there, like we've been here. Rocky, go to the basement. I'm here in the basement. I want to kill the light. If you're down here, can you come in here with me? Oh, 
Can you move that pipe again? Can you tell me your name? What are you messing with this family? Do you remember how you died? You move the box? Where'd you die at? In the house. Definitely is chillier down here, but I don't know if that's my nerves or what. If you're down here, can you move something, please? I think we've caught your name, which we know you've talked to us. Someone's touching my cheek. I just heard footsteps. I'm sorry if you had to die alone down here. So I get that headache again. Was you hurt in the head? Yeah, I definitely hear that tapping now that Josh was talking about. But this headache's getting worse. It's all right here. Tell me if you was hit in the head or maybe you fell and hit your head. Go up. This headache's getting way too bad now. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I'm getting cold chills. When you were, I'm freaking out. Grab him a battery real quick. I just need to get out of here. Let's investigate down here for a minute. I'm done. You scared this family. It's all gonna stop tonight. Are you colder? We know you're down here. We can feel the coldness. You want to make people argue and think about suicide? Is that how you died? Suicide? Here in a few minutes, we're going to make you leave. You won't have the chance to make somebody do something bad. Did you make the girl commit suicide? You hear that? Screaming? Yeah, it's like a screaming. There's like a little girl screaming. Screaming, it's really cold right here. Come here, put your hand right here. Look you know how cold that is. All around me, coldness. We can hear you screaming. You're getting angry because we know all the bad things you've done. Everything in this neighborhood has been negative. Are you responsible for it? We're going to help this family. We're going to help this neighborhood. And we're going to make you leave. I think we start cleansing down here because this seems to be like the area that's the darkest and where most of the activity is coming from. Work our way upstairs. Probably open the front door. And 
the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we ask that all spirits, good and evil, move out of this house and leave this family alone. We're going to help you move on, okay? We seal off this room in the name of Jesus Christ and his blood and the sign of the cross. These basement walls we seal off by the sign of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, you must leave this basement. We close any portals or any gateways through these mirrors. You may no longer enter through them. Does it feel warmer down here to you? We seal off this stairwell. No spirits can come back down to the basement. You're forever banished. We want all your energy to go out through the front door. Seal off this bedroom. You must leave this room. Any and all spirits, you must now exit through this doorway and never return. This family is now protected by the name of Jesus Christ. We seal off this threshold. You no longer enter through this doorway. You no longer affect this family negatively. We banish you from this house. 